It's time to update that BIOS, the biggest thing that we all fear. I promise you, it won't really be that bad. It's just update BIOS season, especially for those who have a Intel Z890 board, or maybe you have a B860, because we do have Arrow Lake refresh coming up pretty soon, and maybe you want to update that processor. Or maybe you have an AMD board, and maybe it's a B650 or X670E, and you want to upgrade to the Ryzen 9000 series, and you haven't touched that BIOS yet. But it is important to update because in order for you to update the BIOS, which I promise will be not that confusing, especially there are a ton of different ways you can really update the BIOS, especially nowadays. The biggest fear we all have is that the PC doesn't start anymore and then we gotta kinda start from square one and don't worry, that won't happen, especially when you watch this guide. This is going to be based on ASUS motherboard, but it's also pretty similar across the board when it comes to Gigabyte, MSI, or even ASRock. Just follow each step and you'll end up doing perfectly fine. Now, if you're looking for a specific motherboard brand that you're not looking for ASUS but Gigabyte, stick around and as soon as I do make a video for that, I will certainly put a card right above me in order for you to find it. One thing you also have to have is you're going to need a USB device. Something similar to this. You need it in order to be able to flash your BIOS. This is the most recommended way to do it. If you don't have one of these, definitely invest in one. Usually even Micro Center gives them out for free. Just be able to get your hands onto a USB device or a USB thumb drive, however you would like to call it. All we have to do now is just format it and install the new BIOS update on it. The first way and the most highly recommended is the ASUS's Easy Flash Utility Tool. On some ASUS boards, it might be called Easy Flash, Q Flash, depending on your motherboard side, it's going to be accessed directly inside the BIOS. The first step you have to absolutely do is plug in your USB drive, especially for those who do want to use the ET Flash Utility or if you're looking to do a flashback. If nothing pops up, you could always click on the arrow down here just to make sure Windows recognizes it. Hit the eject button. You don't have to hit eject, but you want to make sure that it does get recognized. As you see, this is USB Drive E. So now what we have to do is we're gonna go into Explorer here and then we're gonna go to USB Drive E. As you see, this hasn't been really used for anything. Make sure you pay real close attention to this because this is also going to be very important for this to work properly. So you're gonna right click USB Drive, uh, left click Format. Once you get here, make sure it is selected on FAT32. You don't want it on NTFS or EXFAT. FAT32 is the most safest option currently so I highly recommend to go ahead and choose that selection, choose quick format, and we are going to format that drive. And now it's pretty much clear and ready to go. So the next step is you're going to have to find your motherboard. You hit Windows R, type in MSinfo32, and then you can get an idea of which motherboard you have. This is, for example, the baseboard product is the ROG Crosshair X870E. Now we are on the ROG Crosshair X870E. We're gonna go over to the support side. We're gonna go driver and tools. Over to the right, you're gonna see BIOS and firmware. And then after that, we're gonna, as you see, the most latest update currently is July 22nd of 2025, which is about right. Download up here on the right-hand corner. You're gonna click that little folder icon, or you can right-click it and click show in folder. Once we go into the folder here, we're gonna double click it. And you see all this here. If you use Wormware, just like I do, you're just gonna highlight it all and go to extract two. When you're gonna go to the USB -E drive as that is our thumb drive. Now, if you don't have Wormware, don't panic. You could also right click it and click extract. And then you can choose to extract it over to your thumb drive as the same exact method. But since we already extracted it, uh, we're going to go over to the thumb drive now. And then you're going to go, which is going to be in your file explorer. And right here is the USB drive E as repeat it. And now you're going to see that just double check it. Make sure that is the correct name. If you again, if you want to double check it, remember to go hit Windows R and type MS info 32 and that should come up with the board's name. Now you're going to go. And if you're sure this is the X8 of the E hero, double click this BIOS for namer and then you're going to see something like this pop up when this pops up you're going to hit enter 
And what this will do is practically rename your BIOS file. So after you're done, you don't even have to eject it or do anything like that. Unless you're planning to do a flashback, make sure you go down to the arrow, click the USB and click eject SanDisk 3.2 because that's gonna have to go in a very specific area. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into that side of it. So since the PC is now just going to restart, we're going to constantly constantly hit F2 on the keyboard in order for the BIOS to properly pop up. So once it pops up, once we get over to the BIOS side, we're going over to the tool section. There is a step we have to do in order before we actually flash the new BIOS on here. Especially if you already have some settings set for your PBO and for your overclocks, it's also good to back up your BIOS. You're gonna go over to the user profile, hit enter. Make sure you go all the way down to load slash save profile from USB drive. You can name it whatever you want as I have mine listed as Mizo Custom. So we're just gonna save it to the USB drive. Now to save it as a new command file, just hit F2. Miso BIOS. Perfect. And now, as you see, it's, it's listed on the directory, which is exactly what we want. Now, we can actually go ahead and update the BIOS through the Easy Flash Utility tool. you're gonna see ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility Tool. So we're gonna hit enter. And then from here, you're going to see that USB, which was Drive G originally. It's also a gives good indication because as the file renamed, we all know that it was renamed A558.cat. Just make sure you don't touch your PC or force a restart. And we're gonna go ahead and process the update. So don't panic if it immediately shuts off, that's normal. You did not F up your PC, don't worry. It's just updating. Here it is. Now we are processing the update. Just give it a moment. It should really not take too long. The PC just ended up restarting. Pretty soon the BIOS should pretty much start up just like if you were just doing a fresh build. Okay, I was wrong. Still updating, just sit back and drink more coffee. Okay, we have the fresh reboot once again, and now it should finally load up the BIOS default. There we go, that's what we wanna see here. And now, that's how you know it's successfully installed. We're gonna go ahead and enter the recovery BIOS here. As you can see, it's up to date to the latest build version, which was on 715 2025 BIOS version 1605 now. So we're gonna go over to the tool side and load up our profile once again. Just go down to user profile and go to load or slash save profile. Select your BIOS and click yes. Perfect. You wanna go over to exit, save changes and there's the settings all ready to go. Now we could unplug our USB. Now there are some options over here on the tool side, some motherboards, some ASUS motherboards, especially the higher, even higher end ones than the X8MD Hero. You can update the BIOS without even needing a USB. And this one, this specific one does not have it, but you can go to the ASUS Easy Flash Utility and it can even, it would actually give you an option to get it off the internet. As long as you have a stable ethernet cord that's connected to your PC, sure, it's relatively safe, but I always prefer the two methods, which is going to be the easy flash utility with the USB and same thing with the BIOS flashback, the BIOS flashback method. So don't forget to put the USB up here onto the top. So since the PC is now just going to restart, we're gonna constantly constantly hit F2 on the keyboard in order for the BIOS to properly pop up. So once it pops up, once we get over to the BIOS side, we're going over to the tool section. 
there is a step we have to do in order before we actually flash the new BIOS on here. Especially if you already have some settings set for your PBO and for your overclocks, it's also good to back up your BIOS. You're gonna go over to the user profile, hit enter. Make sure you go all the way down to load slash save profile from USB drive. You can name it whatever you want as I have mine listed as Viso Custom. So we're just gonna save it to the USB drive. Now to save it as a new command file, just hit F2. Miso BIOS. Perfect. And now as you see, it's, it's listed on the directory, which is exactly what we want. Now we can actually go ahead and update the BIOS. We have the USB pretty much ready to go right here. Now all we have to do is turn around the PC. I'm gonna show you how you can access your BIOS flashback. It's actually going to be a lot easier than you think. So when you look on the back of your PC, it's gonna look something like this. Now I know it's going to be a bit crowded, so we're gonna unplug this out the way so you can see it a bit better here. You see the box right down, right down here. Usually that, that'll indicate that that's going to be the USB flashback port. And you'll see it even say BIOS there. I know the ethernet cord's in, kind of in the way here, so we'll take that out a little bit so you can see it a bit better. And there you go, it's kind of on the bottom side right there. So you just gotta plug in the USB to that port. Now up here, you're gonna see a couple options. You're gonna see clear CMOS which is not what we're looking for, but what we wanna do is do the BIOS flashback. So in order to do that, there's a BIOS flashback in the back of the button. So you hold it relatively about three to five seconds. And then you'll start to see it blink. That's how you know it's going with the update right now. You'll notice it blink quicker and quicker. Just give it some more time. It finally stopped blinking. And now it should be pretty much all ready to go. So we can now pull out this USB since the BIOS is fully up to date. Let's start it up. Perfect, we got it exactly how we wanted it. Now it started up right into the BIOS. And remember what I mentioned, you wanna make sure to have your BIOS profile backed up. If you do, now you can easily load it up instead of manually everything, especially if you had Expo, PBO, and any type of curve optimizer set for your AMD board, or whether if it's XMP and overclock set for Intel. So don't forget to put the USB up here onto the top. Now we have that in we can easily load up our BIOS. As you see, we are up to date with 1605X64 once more. And now all you have to do is go back over to the tool side. Just go down to ASUS user profile. Go to load save profile. And we're gonna load up our original settings. Just hit the escape key, click yes. You wanna go over to exit, save changes, and there's the settings all ready to go. Now we could unplug our USB. So we're gonna go to step four, which is to access ARM and create, which is the method I do not prefer. Definitely go through one through three before you even think about going through ARM and create, because I feel it is the least reliable option when it comes to updating your BIOS. This is gonna be based on the eGaming Strix TRX40 board. Let's go ahead and go to your update center. And then from here, you're gonna see device components. These are just going to be all updates for your device. Now, typically when there is an update for the BIOS, it'll pop up here on their device and components. Again, it's a method that I usually don't suggest because it's going to be the most, one of the more unreliable methods. Also on the fifth option is you can also use my ASUS in order for you to update your BIOS. Again, another unreliable option. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. And here it is. You can go to system update. 
and it will also list the different BIOS updates that are available for this motherboard. For example, the latest one is listed as 2302, 6.88 megabytes. Again, you could download it through here, but it is a method that I don't suggest to use for to five. But if you were, you're just gonna hit that system update and you hit confirm. For a BIOS update following the system reboot, you may see an update screen similar to the one above. Updating BIOS will take several uh, minutes complete. So you could choose to do this method if you choose to, but then again, I, like I said, I don't recommend doing it this way. The best option, in my personal opinion, is the first option, where a BIOS flashback, which would also be the next best option. I hope you found the updated BIOS guide very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to also ask in the comments down below or in Discord, which is down in the description box down below. Also, if you know anybody else who needs help with updating their BIOS, feel free to share this video with them and could be the very reason why some of those BIOS updates could be not working correctly. And also, if not part of the Big Wonderful fan bit, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, don't forget to follow my handle right here as it is the same as TikTok. Don't forget to join the live sessions between Wednesday at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern, depending on how the timing is. And on Saturdays, it's typically on 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.